Here we have a Dell Alienware 17R4 that came in for no power. I'm looking at the customer's ticket. I want to see what he wrote. And we'll go over it together. When charger is plugged in, it quits sending voltage. Does this with other chargers. I have isolated issue to be in a motherboard by removing battery, RAM, AGD, Wi-Fi, etc. So that's what we have from the customer. The laptop is not powering on and he tried to isolate the problem by removing all the stuff that connects to the motherboard but still the same issue. I told Big Buzz to just remove the back. A lot of times I only need to work on this side of the board and not the back side of the board so it doesn't make sense to waste time removing the board. If I see a need to remove the board then I would ask Big Buzz to remove it but for now we're gonna work on it like this. The laptop, let me show you front of the laptop so you know. R17, 17, R4, looks something like this. As you can see, Big Boss already disconnected all the flex cables. And let's see, right there. We have two MOSFETs here, and we're going to start by measuring the drain on the MOSFET on the left, based on my experience working on this very specific model. And I can do some predictions from now. I'm going to predict that we're going to find a short circuit on the drain right here. That short circuit is going to be caused by a DR MOS on the V-core circuit all the way down here. We're going to end up removing the shorted DR MOS. We're going to replace it. Laptop is going to turn on. We're going to see a backlight on the keyboard, charging light, power light. But the laptop itself is not really on because of a CPU issue. A short on the DR MOS, specifically on Dell Alienware, will allow more voltage to the CPU than what the CPU can handle, and the CPU will fry itself that way. So let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope what I just said is not true. Let's go ahead and measure the drain on the MOSFET on the left. And I know Dell Alienware is by heart right now. Now look at this. We have a short. So prediction number one is correct. A short on the drain of this MOSFET is likely a short on the V-core circuit that we see down here. I have many videos working on Dell Alienware. You can go back and see me do exactly the same thing. Let's hope this one is different. So look at the inductor on top. It looks clean, clean, clean. One of them will look dark like this one here and most likely we have a problem with this DR MOSFET. A dark inductor does not mean that this MOSFET is bad but it's a good indication. Clean and clean. This one is a little bit dark so who knows. What we're going to do is inject voltage at the drain of the MOSFET where we measured for a short and then we're going to inspect the motherboard under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. And we're going to pinpoint the heat spot and figure out where the short is coming from. Okay, so let's go to our thermal camera. And we're going to focus on the CPU area, which is right here. And let's see. I'm going to inject voltage at the drain of the shorted MOSFET. Look at this. Heat on the CPU, and we have heat right over here. Let's do this one more time, in case you missed it. See, we have heat right over here. My finger is pointing on the DR MOS that is short into ground. Let's go back to our microscope and right here. You see? Right under that burnt coil. This guy right here. Without wasting any time, let's go ahead and desolder that chip and see what happens. So Prediction number two and three are correct. Prediction number one being a short circuit on the drain of the MOSFET. Number two is that a burned coil is a good indication that the DR MOS under it is bad. And prediction number three is that we have a short circuit on this DR MOS as we initially thought. And prediction number four is that I knew we're going to get a Dell Alienware that will have a short caused by the V-Core circuit that will eventually have that CPU because 
I read it on the tickets that somebody submitted a ticket with the Dell Alienware 17R4 that does not power on. We used to have a psychic shop right next to us, the store that we have right now, after they left, because they did not see it coming. And it looks like I picked a thing or two from them, with predictions. They left, they did not see it coming. The chip is out. Let's apply some flux and we can prep the pads. Let's get rid of the glare. We have a tall coil, so it's blocking the light a bit, but it's okay. We got rid of the glare using our anti-glare light. And if you do not know what the anti-glare light is, look up the video I did. Just search Northridge Fix anti-glare light. You can purchase that light off our website, just log into northwishfix.com, click on shop, and you can find it there. You can find all the tools that you need in our shop. Everything is stocked and everything usually ships out same day. Maybe we can add a bit of the ring light, like this, even if we have a little bit of a glare. That way we can compensate for the shadow that we have here because of this tall inductor. And that's why it's important to have a ring light and an anti-glare light. And not just one of them. Some people are ordering the microscope from us and they're picking either the ring light or the anti-glare light. I recommend that you have both because you will need them. That's money well spent. You're not wasting money. You're going to use them every single day. And that makes the difference between having a good visibility and a bad one. I'm always switching between ring light, anti-glare, or both. Now I do have a donor Dell Alienware, or let's call it Dellionware, like I once did. Look at this. <laughs> that goes to show you that every single Dell Alienware fails on the DRMOS side of the motherboard. I used every single one of them chips on the board. I use all four, all five. But the good news is we have more here. Let's grab this one. And like I said, every Dell Alien where I worked on where I had to replace that chip, it turned out to be a CPU problem. Let's hope this one is different. Customer is paying for expedited. He spent a lot of money to ship it over to us and he's gonna spend money for us to ship it back to him. And if the laptop ends up being a no fix, he still has to pay for the repair attempt. Expedited, return shipping. What can you do? We are spending the time to attempt the repair. Big Boss spent the time to disassemble it and then he's gonna spend the time again to reassemble it. And then we're gonna spend the time on packaging the laptop materials for packaging the person who's packaging is not working for free I mean all that costs money all that costs money we do not just charge a repair 10 fee because one day I woke up and thought you know what let me charge a repair 10 fee we charge it because we are spending the time You know what, before we solder that chip, why don't we check and see if we still have a short? Good idea. Because we're going to have a person who's going to complain. How come you did not check for a short after you removed that chip? Relax. 
check 0 0.377 awesome we do not have a short anymore let's replace this mosfet so we can continue with our predictions The owner of the laptop is probably watching the video and going like Come on man, stop saying that. Just fix my laptop. That's what the guy is probably saying. What I say is real. I do not just take stuff out of my mouth. Right, and now all we have to do is add some flux. We're gonna push down with the tweezer. And we're gonna apply heat again. And somebody came in, just a minute. Right, and, um, I just need some clear service for this. But we do not do watches. When is I bring the screen protector? Is yeah, yeah, we do not work on watches. Oh. Sorry, man. The guy brought in a watch and parts for that watch and god knows what's going on with that watch i told them we do not work on watches so the blobs that you see the bridges that you see here and here it's okay because all four pins they connect together all three pins they connect together so we have one big blob on all three pins and one big blob on all four pins and all pins on the top they connect together as well so it's okay if we have a blob on the top so i'm gonna hand this over to big bus to reassemble and test and we'll see we'll see if my final prediction is correct big boss is done with the reassembly of the Dell alienware and let's see if my final prediction is correct okay is it on We do see the flashing power button and most likely the computer is going to power on then off on and off on and off and that's an indication that we have a problem with the cpu turn it on where's the power button okay. yeah just power it on fans should spin on and off yeah you see fan is spinning off on off that's it cpu problem and i predicted correctly so we did what we had to do big boss took apart the laptop i worked on the laptop he put back the laptop we did all the work that we needed to do but unfortunately the laptop is a no fix we're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video. And I have two Dell motherboards that we need to work on right here. Maybe I'll do this one next.